In this problem, we have a particle that is undergoing simple harmonic motion. We're given the amplitude of that simple harmonic motion, and we want to find the total distance that the particle travels after one period. Now the key thing to realize here is that the total distance is going to be equal to 4 times the amplitude. And here is why. The problem doesn't say what kind of simple harmonic motion that this is, but it doesn't matter what it is. So let's just say it's a pendulum, and let's say it's right here. And that the, let's say this is the middle point, this dotted line is the middle point, and that this distance right here is the amplitude, A, because the amplitude is its total distance from the central rest position. So if this particle were to undergo simple harmonic motion for one period, then it has to go down the middle once to pass A, a single time, then it has to go to the other side of its motion, which is the second A, and then it has to come back. So then it goes back down this way for a third A, and then back up to the initial period, the, the initial position. So in order to go to its opposite position and then back, it has to travel the distance of the amplitude four times. So this is the formula we need for this problem. So the answer to this problem, we're just going to take the amplitude it gives us, uh, 0.21 meters, and multiply it by 4. And that gives us a distance of about 0.84 meters. And that is the total distance traveled by the particle. That's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that will help me make more videos like this. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll do what I can to help you out. If you have a request for a future video, or you just want to hang out, I have a Discord server and my Twitch linked in the description down below. So that's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.